Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video I have a quick haul for you guys. Um, some perfume and a bracelet. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on my little journey of building out a pretty much like a timeless um, stack of bracelets bangles whatever you guys want to call it um typically i wear big bangles and stuff and larger earrings not much of a necklace person so i am trying to kind of go into buying some jewelry that will stand the test of time and a good investment piece um I'm from New York City, so a lot of the stuff that I used to buy was from, we had like a lot of African vendors and stuff, so I would get like a lot of brass jewelry, and I'm not going to lie, by far the best, because if the brass does get dirty, the only thing you have to do is purchase some brasso and clean it, and it looks like new, but some people do like the older, um, how it looks when it gets a little bit dirty. I like it a little bit more shiny, so just use the brasso and you're done um let me know if you guys want to see my small accessory <laughs> collection it's not that much since i've moved but um i do have bracelets and brass earrings and brass bracelets that i had for years and i mean like at least 15 years and they still look stinking brand new once you clean them up but if you guys did see the thumbnail um i have some new perfume for the spring I'm probably going to do a spring um, fragrance video for you guys. Uh, some of the ones that I do have I think is nice for the spring. Some of the other ones I think it's really for the fall and winter. But I did get another Jo Malone for you guys. Well, for myself. <laughs> and I love Jo Malone. Um, it's not too expensive. And I think that everyone should at least own one now i'm not saying get those candles <laughs> but i do like the perfume um if i did get the candle i would probably not burn it i'm not even gonna lie um i did purchase this from nordstrom so i'll link everything below for you guys um the total of this was 153 so i got the biggest bottle i believe yeah 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 i got the 100 mil i got the 100 mil and the total was 153 so it was 142 which i don't think is bad at all um if you like perfume i don't think you have to keep purchasing it if you purchase a good one so no well, one that actually lasts so of course it just comes the same exact way with um the box and the um sorry and the ribbon so simple packaging but the box is really cute you can always use it for something else let's just open this right on up and i did get mimosa in uh what is this my vision cardamom i think that's what it says yeah Sorry, my <laughs> listen, when you turn 40, it's like everything is like, ugh. Like I pull everything away from my eyes. I could barely see. Okay, yeah. So I um currently I have a couple of other Joe Malones. My other favorite is Poppy and Barley. I absolutely love that one. And I tend to go for the bigger bottle because it does last a long time. You do not need a lot of this. You can squirt, 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 and maybe squirt somewhere down here, <laughs> and you're good. But this one, oh my goodness, this smells like, okay, guys. So what we have here is the mimosa and cardamom. You know what's so funny what I'm seeing right now? I'm seeing <laughs> Joe Malone. <laughs> they have a typo <laughs> on their website. So the bottle has C-A-R-D-A-M-O-M. -M. The bottle on the website has the same thing, but they have C-A-R-D-O-M-O-M. -M. All right. So it says it has, uh, let's see. 
Let me go to the notes and see what's in here. I'm not gonna take this, okay. Okay, so cardamom, this is a cool spice that hints of lemon and adds um, effervescence contrast to the warm floral heart. And that is the first thing that's in here. We have mimosa, powdery mimosa as a honeyed and warm floral character. Then we have tonka bean, um, which has scents of almonds and vanilla. It says tobacco. Um, and then we have, I think that's it. So it's just those three. It's more of a fresher smell. So if you want something a little bit more warmer, this may not be the one for you. And let's see what else we have here. Yeah, that's it. And let's see what, I got this from Nordstrom. So let's see, yeah, same price on Joe Malone's website. Um, so guys, check, check this out. Like, I, listen. I I can't really like, let me see. Yeah, you know what this reminds me of? Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't want to say it, and then people are like, ew. <laughs> ah, it kind of, there's a couple of things I smell here. Do you guys remember, and I know some of you guys know this, so, most of our moms <laughs> back in the day used to have, like, you know that candy violets? It's like purple. It used to smell so stank to me. But this is giving me violets. And this is kind of giving me a little bit of Fahrenheit. Which is so crazy. <laughs> but I really like this smell. Like it's not overbearing. This is a very nice spring smell. Brunch. Like if you're out. Like the breeze hits you. Um, And that's it. Nothing, nothing major. But... Try to pick up some spring fragrances this, this um, spring, guys, um, just so you won't be out here smelling like winter. But again, I am probably going to do a spring haul so you guys can um, get a feel of some type of, some perfumes that you should um, invest in for the spring. Um, because, like I said, you don't really want to smell like winter fragrances, if that even makes sense. But you guys know what I mean. And the last thing that I got here, which is what I'm going to do is start to build my arm candy um, little, I guess, I don't know, my little arm candy, whatever. <laughs> um, so I got a David Yerman bracelet. And what I'm going to start doing is I created a stack that I believe that I like so far. It's about five bracelets. And... Um, I'm going to start investing in them. So what I'm probably going to do within the next, probably within the next year, try to get all of them. Um, the gold pieces do cost a lot more money. Um, I am a gold person. So if, when I do get the stack, some of them, they do have gold in them. Not much, but the solid gold one is the one that's going to cost me the most. And anyone that has diamonds in it. And I'll probably mix in some other ones from different brands or whatever. Um, not too sure yet, but my goal is to really invest in these for now and go from there. So this is the bracelet, guys. It's very, it's a simple gold. Um, the box is really cool, too. So it's the simple, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say gold. It's the simple, um, it's so sunny in here. My goodness. Let me see if I can close this um, this blind so you guys can see. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know. But it's a simple bracelet like this. Um, sterling silver here. I believe this is 18 karat on the tip. So the entire tip is all gold. Um, it does have the YD on the inside with some numbers here. I'm not even sure what those numbers are. I'll figure it out and put it in the, in the description box for you guys. And I believe I got a large. So when you're purchasing these bracelets, 
I think this one was hmm, starting price four eighty, and I think it went up to five twenty eight or something like that. Something like that. Um, the larger your bracelet is, the more money it costs. Uh, so just keep that in mind, depending on how you want to, um, depending on how you want to wear it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have my Michelle watch on. But um, it's just a simple bracelet. So when I do get my stat, I'm excited because I think it's going to look extremely pretty. Um, like I said, I may end up just sticking something else in here. Um, or maybe on this arm. I'm not sure. But my plan is to really get investment pieces that I could wear all the time, every day. Um, keep them, you know, in the dust bag or keep them in the box, whatever one you like. And kind of go from there. So my watch, this is a Michelle watch, and this watch has all three metals in it. So it has um, silver, it has rose gold, and it has gold in it. Uh, initially, I wasn't really a fan of it, but I think the older I get, I'm realizing that I like to mix the, the metals together. Uh, it's something that I never really did back in the day, but that's the first bracelet of my new collection that I'm starting. So I will keep you guys posted on the other ones that I do get if you guys are interested in seeing that. But I am excited to see it like kind of come out. Actually, I wonder if you guys, let's see. I snapped a photo of what I'm trying to do. Let me see if I still have it up. Oh yeah, okay. Let, let me see if you guys can see this. So here, I'm so sorry guys. So my freaking camera totally died on me and now I'm on my phone. Um, so bad. So I was gonna try to show you guys my stack, but I am gonna insert a picture up here so you guys can see it. I was one of these sides. So this is what I'm trying to accomplish with, you know, building out my stack or whatever. Um, for my new arm candy journey that I'm on, I guess you could say. Um, I think bracelets, bracelets and bangles are extremely pretty and they can just judge up any outfit. So if you have on a simple like dress, maxi dress, some bracelets, some nice earrings, you're fine. Maybe a small necklace, nothing too much if you have a lot of arm candy on. But um, that's what I'm gonna do. So I will bring you guys along with me. And maybe, like I said, maybe I will end up adding in a different brand of bracelet, maybe. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. Maybe I'll put it on this arm, but something that I love, I'm going to purchase it. So if you like videos like this, guys, and you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.